Hi, I'm DJ Abbas, and this is an intro exclusive. We're in Atlanta in the offices of Chief Bolu Fatumishi, the Gbawoni of the world. He is a, um, he's a herbalist, a babalao, a traditional uh, faith healer, so to say. And what, what else I've not described him as, he will be able to tell us more about it in this exclusive interview with him. The blend of cultures from all the way from Nigeria down to America here in Atlanta. So it's a great honor and pleasure, sir, to have you on our show, sir. Welcome to our show. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, how long have you been resident in America? Um, going to almost 20 years now. 20 years. Mm -hmm. And can you, in just a few sentences, give us a bit background into yourself before we go into what you represent for us in the, in the States? Um, you're talking about my experience in America or As my life? Let's, let's meet Chief my life. Bolu Fatou, yeah. Okay. Yes, um, my name is Chief Bolu Fatou Meche. As we've earlier said, I'm the Bawoni of Ile Ife and also the Belenfa of Ife. That is the rank to the Araba of Ile Ife. Uh, I was born and reared in Ileife at Gideon Bush Compound in Okerewe Quarters. Uh, my grandfather was the head of Old Babalao in Ileife, and I was uh, into the culture. Not only because I was born there, I think I was talented in anything naturally. naturally. Okay. It's, it's like an inborn, anything that has to do with the cultural activities. All my entire life, I've never done anything besides anything that has to do with culture, culture. you know. So, and uh, thank God that uh, I went to the Dua College in Ife, and after my high school level, I was at the University of Ife, where we did a lot of show with uh, late Olaro Timi. Yes. Then later on, we, put, uh, yeah, we did together, uh, Kurumi, and all kind of stuff like that. Then later, uh, I work with your professor Wally Soyinka. We did so many play together that the kings and the death horsemen. And um, after afterwards, after I left the university, I was the editor of Atoka Yuba magazine for nine years in Lagos. Fantastic magazine. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that was the magazine that has to deal with the artist. Mm -hmm. Then there was no video. Movie it was like, a, like, it was like a picture, right. picture magazine. It's a picture magazine there. So it was after that. During that time, I, I was I used to be a composer, you know, for King Sonia Day and some host of other artists in Nigeria. Basically, you wrote lyrics for him. I wrote the lyrics. Okay. I think I composed about eighteen albums for him. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one? Can you give us a, just a few insights? Do you sing as well? Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm a singer myself. Okay. And I've done some albums myself. Okay. See, I was number three man in Nigeria to ever produce a Wii album. After okay. King, uh, I mean, after Larry Adi okay. We started together in 1970. And it's like 71 with uh, Adi Bayo Faliti, Baba, yes. in, right, the, in the battle. So with Olo Mojo, Re, Goka Kelabi, Tumbo Sola Dabbo. You know, we started all together. And, um... After that, I used to be uh, a composer for Sonia Day, who brought me to this country for the first time that I came with Sonia Day. And when was this? Yeah, that was 1975. Oh. When they said Sonia said was turned down and crazy or something like that. Lying there, and I was one of the people <laughs> that uh, wrote the song that Sonia Day was not crazy at the time. Okay. You know, among some of my favorite compo uh, composition that I gave Sonia Day was uh, Conscience, Eriok. Eriok. Yeah, mm, yeah, because I strongly believe in it, and that is what I used to teach people here. That is our destiny okay. that we were given to us by Lord Mary, by God. Okay. Yoruba people who don't have anything like a shoe. A shoe is not a devil, has been projected by other so, religions. What is a shoe? A shoe is like a police. If you do the right thing, a shoe will never touch you, it will never do anything bad to you. Okay. If you do the wrong thing, a shoe will arrest you. We have 16 parts of a shoe. We have 16 parts of Ifa. We have 16 parts of a shoe. We have 16 parts of a goon. Each one of them has their own uh, thing they have to do for human beings. The only issue that we, even Babalawo, that we don't share is is Odara. Odara is what we call as one of the It's one that brings confusion to people. Think about it. If a shoe is a devil, the way the Christian people projected it. Okay. Do you think any family will have their children and name it Ishubi, Ishukemi, Ishubai? Mm -hmm. There was a king in Lagos who saw by Ishubai. Mm -hmm. So it should never be a devil. 
but just give a dog a bad name in order to hang it. Exactly. You see, we have this problem when Samuel like Jai Crowder who introduced Yoruba Bible translated Yoruba to, exactly. to, to English. I mean from English Yoruba. to Yoruba and just say issue and stop at it. He would have said, or oh, there are Shebai, or oh, there are do this, or exactly. oh, there are do that. Because that was what Baba Lawifu is scared about. Okay. He's scared about Dara. Not all the issue are bad. We have issue here. We bring money to people in the marketplace. We have issue or not. We give good luck to you when you are going to your business in the day. Okay. We have issue who we give luck to fertility that okay. brings in grow in the farm. Okay. You see, we have different kind of issue. And just say issue. And stop at it. And this was less than 200 years old, really? I mean, more than that. More than that. I mean, the um, Jai Krada translation. Was yeah, just, you're right. All this right. changed just from 18, then. From 18, 18, 1836. 1836, you know? Yeah. So, and people are saying, oh, if you do this, you do that. And up to today, nobody has been able to stand up and try to correct this. And that's what we are doing here. So obviously, 95% yeah. of your clients are yes. American. Yes. And they must have had an understanding to a degree of our deities yes. before they can even approach you. Thank you very much. So it's true. They're coming down, and problems range across. It could be anything mm. from yeah. psychological yeah. to medical. Medical, you medical right. as well. Mm. Uh, we do a little what we call medical is uh, applying some power of herbs okay. you know, to deal with some medicine. And sometimes we do the elbow, the sacrifice. Hmm. You know, when we dis do the sacrifice, we believe that the problem has been taken away. Just mere sacrifice. Just like the one I did for you over there now. I'm still, I'm see, still feeling see, the buzz of that. See, <laughs> but what I'm telling you right here is like, if I was a lone ranger, hmm. nobody like me, and I did what I did for you, what are you going to tell the other people? So I perform a miracle. Exactly. Thank you. But and also, if I, if I do this, ah. and I invoke this into this, and I said into this to rise up. You call it miracle. See, African people get power. Are you oh, going to do that now? Of course. African people get power. But when we do our own power, you call it black magic. Yes. If it's a white man, you call it genius. Mm. It's a shame. Because God gave everybody their power. Okay? Now, if I invoke this now, it will rise up. You know, be stand down my hand like this. But if I invoke it, it will rise up. I send another video by some of you Okay, let your phone. Okay, come on, look. See? So, you invoke it and tell him to go and sit down. I do copy the ballet and I like the day. You go. Share the marine. Send the video by some of you See? You can see the way it goes. You know? Wow. <laughs> so, the more you see, the more you know. If you don't search, you don't go places, you don't know. What I'm trying to let you understand here is that uh, in Yoruba culture, Asha, Asha in your culture, Asha Lubi Esi. Esi Lubi Ewo. Ewo Lubi Eru. Eru no bi jegaba, i jegaba no bi oshelu, oshelu no bi janduku, janduku no bi ewo, ewo no bi o minera. Your culture gave back your religion. It is your culture of your nation that going to give you your religion. What the way you have to call your God? Your culture gave back your religion, and your religion gave back your taboo. Taboo gave back to fear. Fear gave back to priesthood. Priesthood gave back to politics. Politics gave birth to hooliganism. Hooliganism gave birth to jail and freedom. See, that is the chain. That no two ways about it. If you have no culture, you have no religion. If you have no religion, there will be no taboo. There's no taboo, there'll be no fear. If there's no fear, there's nothing for you to go to Baba Yemiwo, to priest or anybody. It, it is when the fear grips your heart. Exactly. That you go into the Catholic scene in those days. Say in Catholic, Baba, I come to confess my sin.